The reason we're doing pulses is that we know that if we do single leg pulses, we're starting to see tensile strains up around sort of six times body weight um, or so, uh, particularly at the 132 beats a minute that we'll be using. And so this is a means of overload um, rather than just doing the simple calf raises and lowers where we would need to put a lot more weight or you know, uh, challenge it in another way. So the other thing pulses uh, require of us is a degree of coordination and we'll see how Ari goes with the coordination as we look at this first. So first up, we're going to look at um, right side knee bent and he's going to maintain that 20 to 30 degrees knee bend and we're just going to do about 20 pulses on the right side. Away we go. Wonderful, thank you. Now, we are seeing a little bit of a floating knee bend, knee straighten. I'd love to see that a bit better. You know, so really locking the knee and, and holding it there as we go up and down. We start to see a little breakdown tremor, um, but now let's see what we, we get on the other side. Mm -hmm. 